Well, good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So today is the 10th and today is Ruby's kids seven week birthday. So I am sending out everybody's emails uh, as soon as we do this video. So uh, if you don't have that email, please let me know, shoot me a text tomorrow or something and I will resend it. Uh, I think I have a couple people in this group that are sold that have not sent me in a contract. So I will check that this afternoon and see um, if I have somebody. If I do, I'll, I'll text you because I need your email. Uh, we gave him a new toy today. So the little Merle is the first one that's gone through that. I think that's the wine color. Oh, that one's thrilled with the tube. Um, the puppies that are out here are only the ones that are sold. So the puppies that we still have available are right above this video. And there are four of those, but all the puppies in this video are sold. So, uh, Brittany did collar colors and microchip numbers for me and weights for me. Um, there, we're going to have a couple more sneak through that too. I got a mouthy one right down here below me that's bound to get my attention, and that's not the way to get my attention. That's the pink collared little female. Uh, they are wound. They have been in. They were out yesterday for a while, and they were in all morning. It was, this is the only time in the afternoon, I think it's about oh, going on 2 o'clock maybe or so, that I get a chance to have this much shade um, up here by the house. So... We did the other ones on the deck this morning so that we had shade this morning because it doesn't have shade in the afternoon. Uh, so these guys are all doing great. And like I said, they are seven weeks old today and they are full of it. So when you get them home, they are very inquisitive. They are going to want to get into everything. Well, this one says, I think I can touch this. I wonder what this is. Oh, somebody was coming out. Maybe that's who he was pawing at or she was pawing at. Up, oh, yep, they're wild. Um, so when you get them home, please don't just turn them loose in your house. Uh, when you are not physically interacting with them, put them in the crate. Crate is a good thing. It becomes their safe place. They actually learn to love their crate if you're a family that will let them use the crate. Some families don't, and I love it when they go home and I see their first couple... Maybe the first two weeks, there's this cute little bed on the floor and one's on the fireplace or right in front of the fireplace, there's a bed and the dog's sleeping on the floor. Um, that's always funny. I love that when I see that, it's like, okay, we're not doing the crate, I guess. But it's really up to you. Uh, I'm just telling you that before you get things destroyed that you're furious about, these little guys will chew everything up. They will urinate and poop everywhere they feel like it if they're not crate trained. Um, about every uh, every time they wake up from a nap, they're going to pee within five minutes. So if you're busy and you have them on the floor sleeping and you don't happen to see them wake up, you're probably going to have some place that there's piddle on the floor and you're going to be angry. So... Um, just if you can, please, please try and use the crate as much as you can. It will take some of that aggravation away. Um, and it can get very frustrating. I always tell everybody the first nine weeks are the worst part of the dog's life, or the first nine months. <laughs> um, so just a, a thought from our end of what we've done and what we see here. Because they look for things to get into, believe me. She's like, I really want your attention. Okay, I'm going to go away. Finally. Um, so they had a bath today. And Brittany gave him a bath before she left. And we did... Um, I would really like to do pictures. But I am obligated to make a bunch of cookies today. Uh, for an occasion that we have coming up this week. And my life this week is terribly busy, and it's not because of the dogs. Everybody always thinks we're so busy because of the dogs. I have people that do the dogs for me. Um, that's what uh, Brittany and Vanessa do. And I try and fill out everything else around here between mowing the chickens and 
uh, paperwork and emails and whatever has to be done for everything else we do in our life. So I'm shorthanded right now and uh, everything else is kind of like, this will be a crazy week. So Sunday, it slows down. Actually, probably Saturday evening, it'll slow down. And, uh, but I'm gonna try and get you some, as, if I can get some good face pictures and close-ups and, but I don't know that I'll get pictures on and I, I do apologize. Um, these guys are eating dog food. They haven't seen their mother for an entire week and she has not missed them, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, they're doing great. They're eating dry dog food. I feed free choice. I know you've probably heard me mention that on other videos and maybe don't understand what it is. Oh my goodness, look who the water crazy person is over here. We have front feet in the water. And I think that's the royal blue collar. Yes, sir. No, that's the turquoise collar. Oh, so turquoise collar had his feet in the water. I wondered who was the water crazy person in the house. They're, they're, they're wound up, can you tell? Now oh, I hear you, and I'm not going to pay attention to you. She just wants me to pay attention to her. Lost my whole train of thought. Um, I did. I have absolutely no idea where we were in this. Oh, golly, there's, oh, guess who? There's the blue collar in the water. Oh, let's just get Claire in and walk through it, why don't we? See if he does it again. I try and put this in the corner where they won't run through it, but... Oh, he's in it purposely. See, oh, yeah, there he comes out of the water. Okay, so that one is a water person also. That's the royal blue collar. <laughs> Sorry, people. Snoodles like water. Some of them really love water, and some of them aren't quite so bad. Um, yeah, my mind just totally dropped what we were talking about. Hey, psst, psst, psst. Um, all right, I'm going to go through here. Maybe it'll pop back in my brain where I was. Uh, I'm going to give you microchip numbers and weights. So the turquoise collar puppy out here, which was just in the water, is 1832. It weighs 5 pounds, 2 ounces. The female out here, which has the plum-colored collar on, is 1821. She weighs 4 pounds, 10.5 ounces. The little noisy one that's been here in front of me that just ran through the... She's back up here in front of me again. Uh, the pink female, pink collared female, is 11.29. She weighs 4 pounds, 14 ounces. Uh, we got the orange collar female, 18.18. She weighs 4 pounds, 6.8. We have the male with a royal blue collar on. That way is 18.34. That one is four pounds, 13.5 ounces. And we have two more to go. We have the female with no collar. 18.16 is her number. And she is five pounds, six ounces. Last but not least is the, the green collar uh, male. 18.22 weighs six pounds, 13 ounces. Oop, that was a takedown. Um... So that kind of gives you a clue on where they're at size-wise. Everybody, okay, I know what I was telling you. Everybody eats dry dog food. Free choice means... Oh, look at this. We're getting back in the water with our feet. No, oh, maybe not. The left foot's in, the right foot's out. Um, I feed... I don't know. We fill up feeders maybe once a week. I don't even pay attention to food. Oh, good. Oh, there goes the blue merle foot in. That's the turquoise one. Oh, the two water babies. Oh, look, we're going to dig the water. Look there. We're digging the water out. Oh, yeah. Let's just have a water party. Nope. Oh, one foot's really wet. So, oh, you guys are going to have fun with water in your house. Um, I put food in a little bulk feeder. It holds about eight pounds of food. I don't pay a bit of attention how much they eat. They never, ever, ever overeat. They only eat what they need at the time that they're eating. And it's not like us that gets the munchies and goes and gets the snacks and the chips out and the cookies out. They only go to that bowl maybe two or three times a day for just little pieces. They don't sit and eat an entire meal. 
if you've ever had a dog that you fed on schedule, it gulps the entire bowl down every time you feed it. If it doesn't and it picks all day long, that's a free-fed dog. That's a that's not a scheduled dog. But people that feed on a schedule, they're going to go, oh, I can't give it anymore. It'll just eat itself stupid. No, it really won't. You can make any dog a free choice fed dog food. Oop, that was a crash. Uh, basically, if you have a dog that you want to switch over to free choice, then all you have to do is give it a bucket and let it go. It may eat so much the first day it pukes because it thinks you're nuts. You forgot to take its food away and it's scared to death there won't be any more there in five hours or whatever. So leave it, keep it full, and the second day, yes, he might eat a little bit more than normal, but you'll see that the amount has, he'll go to check that bowl periodically during the day to make sure that food's still there. The next day, man, he may only eat once. And by the third or the fourth day, he will quit eating and only go back to that bucket and eat when he's hungry. Uh, if you have a fat dog, it's not because of the dog food you feed. It might be because of the junk you feed the dog. But a free choice dog never gets heavy. Um, there was one point in our kennel, we had, oh, probably close to 65 dogs years ago when we were at the height of our kennel. And I think we're down to 23 right now, but there's like eight boys out there. Um, so they never ever argue over food. They never growl at each other. They all share their food together. Oh, there's another one in the water. The black one, uh, the dark one just got in the water. Um, so it's, it's really a great way to feed your dog because a lot of people go, oh my gosh, we have to get home. It's five o'clock. That dog's got to eat. You don't have to be that way. Um, it's really up to you. It's whatever you're comfortable with. And yes, they may poop a little bit more for a week or so because they weren't used to the original amount you're giving them to eat until they get over the fact that it's still going to be there and then they only eat when they want. And is it absolutely possible to, to house train a dog on a schedule? If I had a fly swatter, I would swat her right now. Um, she's not allowed to do that in the house. And so right now she's taking advantage of, oh, look here. We're clearing the bowl. Oh, we got all four feet in the bowl this time. Oh, he says I had to check out and make sure the water's still there. But it is absolutely possible to feed that way. It's good for your dog. It's much better than them gulping down their meals. Also, if you walk over and stick your hand in your dog's bowl when it's eating dog food and gulping it down, 65% of the time that dog's going to growl at you because that's my food, don't touch it. Um... So it's up to you, but that's how we feed. All of our dogs down in the kennel have a 45 pound bulk feeder. We fill it up when it gets down to a quarter full and then we don't check it again for several weeks. We know there's food in the bottom because we can see it, but it takes them a while to go through the dog food. And uh, even when we had 60 some dogs, we did not use that much dog food. People go, oh my golly, you must buy tons and tons of dog food. Not really, they really did not. So. That's how we feed. It's really up to you if you want to feed free choice or whatever. The other thing I will tell you about dog food is please, please do not feed them canned dog food. It is not good for them. People go, oh, I just put a little bit on their dry dog food so they'll eat it. Well, you're causing yourself problems down the road. This puppy says, shut up. And uh, so if you start that and then you quit it, then they're not going to eat their dog food. And then you're going to go, oh, they're not eating. And you just start this whole cycle of a pain in the butt dog that has got you around its little finger and knows how to control how much you give it, when you give it to them, and all the junk that you, it wants that you didn't put on your food. And the frozen dog food or the dog food that is farmers, whatever I think it's called, please don't add that to your dog food. Um, I have heard some things that were causing some problems with it, but the biggest problem is it's no different than canned dog food. Um, I know people that feed their dogs Old Roy, 
which is probably, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, so please don't call me and complain, that's the worst dog food on the market. I, you can tell our sun just went down. Um, it's like feeding sawdust. It's like $10 a 50-pound bag, or it used to be, and it's not nutritional for your dog. Oh, oh we're, we're playing patty cake in the water now. Um, so I know people that feed that and have fed it for 10 years because it's cheap. Their dog lives to be 15 years old. So it's amazing what you can, uh, you can spend a fortune on your dog food. You can spend, I'm not going to name off the expensive brands that I know, but I know people that feed those because of the name. Look at your bag. It's all about the calories. I'm going to swat this puppy. And, um... It's not about the name. Some of the big names out there are not as nutritious as others. And you just, when, when you find a dog food that you like, that's easily available for you, your dog's eating it well, don't change. My dogs have eaten the same thing for probably 10 years. Um, I don't change. And they don't complain. And they're healthy. Their puppies are healthy. So that's my schmeal on dog food. So I'll be quiet now. Um... I'm about ready to go get a fly swatter. So, other than that, uh, if you want to give your dog a weekly bath, no bark. No bark. Swatted her in the nose. No bark. No. I'm going to change your mind. She's like, oh, mom, mom smacked me. No bark. No. No. There we go. Just takes one little correction. She's like, I am mad. I'm gonna go pout. She's gonna come back. She'll do it again and then I'll tell her no. Um, let's see, what else can I throw at you? People ask me harness or collars. Do I like a harness? No. Um, am I going to tell you a shit? Oh, look at that. She says, okay, mom's mad at me. I'm going over and lay down now. She says, I'm not playing with anybody. So I use collars. Uh, if you do an obedience class, they're going to tell you to take your harness off and put a collar on your dog. And, uh, oh, you're going to take over her position. And I see people with a harness on them. And it, it's like a horse when you put a collar and a harness on a horse. They use that to pull the wagon. Well, you put a harness and a leash on your dog without proper training, it's going to use it to drag the human. And I see so many people going down the street with a harness on their dog, and their dog's dragging them right down the street. So it's up to you, however you want to train. No. No. <laughs> she says, Mom means it. Um... Let's see, what else can I throw at you? When you have a puppy that wants your attention and stands there and screams and screams and screams, don't tolerate it. I use a leather fly swatter. A fly swatter doesn't hurt. A plastic fly swatter hurts. And oh, she says, if they're going to get away, but look at her looking. She's like intently watching me. I'm trying not to let her catch my eye, so I'm keeping my phone between her and my in my eyes so she's not going to see me and she's just waiting on the chance to come back and do that again um let's see what else toenails have been done about every 10 days to 12 days uh, we'll probably do them again here before they go home is she going to get in the water he she wait nope, nope she's going the other way um what else can I throw at you? Really nothing this week. Um, they're doing great. We've got them in the house in four kennels. Uh, they're in kennels, uh, three in a kennel. It makes it so much less messy. It also gives us a chance to switch puppies. We don't leave the same three puppies in the kennel all the time. We switch. So they're all used to being with different puppies. This one says, I'm gonna try and go over top of the tube. This one's just looking for somebody to wrestle. You know, there's all this kennel to get in, but no, they have to walk. Oh, there goes the foot in. 
can't oh you can't really drink unless you get both feet in there oh we're gonna have a we're gonna have a splash party now this is the turquoise collar so those of you that are having your water in your kitchen i'm so sorry <laughs> That is the turquoise collar puppy. It's just stirring the water up a little bit to get the mud off the bottom that they've got in there. What a stinker. Let me come back for a second round. We knew we had a kennel in the house that always has water on the floor. Now we understand why. That's so funny. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, if you have not booked in for puppy pickup with me, please, please do so. Um, I fill up really quickly on the weekends. Weekdays aren't so bad. I don't do Sunday pickups unless you're coming from a long way away and you need to head back on a Sunday. And uh, we can't do it any other way. But then I still couldn't do it till afternoon because of church. So... That's the best I can tell you uh, right now is if you have not booked in with me, please do so. All right. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Oh, look at this. She's got it around her legs. I always say he, she. I always say she. So please don't wonder why I say that instead of he. This is so funny. It's like a hula hoop. <coughs> She laid down. He, she laid down back there. I don't know what it, if it's a male or female. Isn't that awful? Some of these I can tell you. Some I can't. I like it when it's better when they're all boys or all girls. Oh, we still got around our legs back there. Finally going to have a tug of war. All right. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. And stay safe and give me a call if you have any questions. Shoot me a text if you know the date and time you want to come. I'll let you know if I've got that available. Um, so they can start going home next week after their spay and neuter. We'll talk to you later.